Isang magandang magandang buhay po mga kasambuhay. Ako po si Father Domi Guzman ng Society of St. Paul, Doing All for the Gospel. At sa ngalan po ng mga pari, mga seminarista po namin, mga brothers, kayo po ay aming inaanyayahan na makimisa, makisambuhay ngayon pong ikawalo ng Setyembre 2019. Ito po ang ikalawang linggo ng buwan ng Setyembre pero para po sa atin, ito ang ika-23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time at siyempre po, September 8, kapistahan po ng kaarawan ng ating mahal na inang Maria. Happy Birthday, Mama Mary, sabi nga natin. No? At lalo-lalo na po sa ating mga Pilipino, ang Archdiocese of Manila, oh, ang patronage po natin ay sa Immaculate Conception, siyempre, si Maria yan. Kaya isang mahalagang araw po na ito ng ating pong pananalangin, pagdiriwang sa kaarawan ng mahal na ina. Grinig, uh, atin din pong grinigrit at ipinagpre-pray ang ating mga regular na mga kasambuhay. Yung pong mga may sakit na mga homebound, lalo-lalo na po yung mga cancer patients at ang inyo pong mga support groups, no? Ang mga elderly po, mga lolo't lola, mga caregivers po ninyo, ito man po ay mga relatives o mga professional na mga caregivers at isinasama na rin po siyempre natin sa panalangin ito pong ating mga persons on duty, mga police, mga militar, mga doktor at yung pong mga health workers lalo-lalo na dyan sa mga iba't ibang mga emergency rooms ng mga ospital. And of course, ang ating pong libo-libo na mga OFWs in a special way, ang ating mga seafarers, yung pong ating mga seaman at seawomen na araw-gabi, ang nakikita palagi ay ang kalawakan siyempre ng karagatan. Binabati rin po natin at ipinapanalangin ang atin pong mga mission partners. Unang-una na po dyan ang mission partners natin sa Canada, si Brother Alex Fideris. At gayon din po ang kanyang makasamahan si Dorothy Santos Merck, Annie Adorna, Emily at Dante Reyes, Joy at Alex Reyes, si Dr. Joe Adorna Guzman, si Alicia Adorna, at lahat po ng inyong mga kapamilya dyan po sa Canada. Gayon din po, we would like to pray para po sa ating mga long time na mga talaga namang loyal na mga Pauline kasambuhay cooperators. Si Leslie Masigan, ang kanyang buong pamilya, lalo-lalo na po ang kanyang mga anak, si Sammy, si Miguel, si Jake, no? and of course, Tony and Lourdes Chowa, dyan po sa Corinthians Garden sa Quezon City, si Ed at Norma Arrojado, George at Noemi Villarus at ang kanila pong uh, uh, CPA office dyan po sa may Robinsons, Ortigas. Si Didith at Joey Jacob, Mariel Diaz ng Standard Marketing and Trading, ang kusina ni Kambal, ni Irma at ni Delio San Miguel. Uh, si Corazon Ochoa at Rosita Kauyan dyan po sa Discovery Bay sa Hong Kong. Naku, masaya tayo na in a way natapos na rin ang krisis nila dyan, ano? Si Alma Gonzales at ang kanya pong mga pamilya at kaibigan, uh, ang uh, atin pong mga long-time love offerers, si Romel Salvador, Gemma Candela, May Asuncion Recio, Rachel Esteban at si Leilani Paladio Himotea. Binabati rin po natin ang atin pong mga co-pilgrims na nakaibigan po natin sa iba't ibang mga Holy Land pilgrimages. Kasama na po ang Spell Group 
at Orange Group ng March 2019. Ito po yung uh, magkakaklase sa high school po ng La Consolacion sa Kaloocan. Gayon din po ang uh, grupo naman ng Journeys of Faith na nag-pilgrimage kasama ko ho ng October 2018. Uh, kasama na po yan, syempre ang mga paring si Father Randy, Father Charlie, Father Joe Abs, si uh, Father Joy, isa pong Merinol missionary dyan sa Taiwan. Ang uh, grupo po ni Nakora Cabral, Geraldine Lee, Grace at uh, Mary Joyce Brillo, si Grace Lara, si Jimmy Olaso at si Attorney Juana San Benaventura, ang Nino Molina at uh, siyempre po si Anton Santos, si Juliet O'Reilly at uh, si uh, Benji Datok. Gayun din po binabati din natin ang grupo ng mga pilgrims si na Chrissy si Highland, si Rose Lisi, Rose Bell D, William D, ang Tantuico family ni Dana, Kathleen at Tal, si Iris at Val Rivero, uh, si Juliet uh, at si Silvet, no? At gayon din po belated happy birthday kay attorney Nonoy Tan at ang kanya pong may bahay na si Grace Pulidutan. Binabati rin po natin ang Recto Group ng uh, March 2019. Uh, si uh, Tito Manny at Tita Lulu at ang kanilang buong angkan. No? And uh, we continue to pray para po sa intentions ng inyong uh, kauna-unahang great-grandchild. Ha? Uh, ang anak po ni Anika. No? Sana nga ay talagang magtuloy-tuloy po itong talagang pinagpala at uh, ipinalalangin na biyaya ng Recto family. And then, of course, we'd like also to uh, greet si uh, Pearl at si Rafi Rodriguez. And um, sa atin pong misa, sa araw na ito, ikawalo ng Setyembre, na po nating una sa lahat, ipanalangin ang eternal repose ni uh, Father Nicomedes Reforial, SSP. Isa po sa aming kasamahang pari dito po sa Philippines, Macau Province, si Lualhati Martinez, no? si uh, Mama Lu, ni uh, Attorney uh, Grace Lara, no? uh, si Elizabeth Mutia Inting, ito po ay nanay po ni Father Andres Inting, sumalangit na wa, no? Si Eladio Francisca Patria at si Nick Semenyuk. Yan po ang mga souls na ating ipinapanalangin. Uh, healing din naman, kagalingan para kay Belen mula po kay Linda ng UP Diliman. Healing din po ni Mami Dolores, Mary Elsa Semenyuk, Nico Reyes, Estela Rico, Leone Cristobal, Maria Brihino, Francisca Silvestre. Special intentions po ni Angela at Celia ng San Mateo Rizal, ni si Nelo de los Reyes ng Catanduanes, at special intentions din po ni Tessie Wong ng Romblon. Thanksgiving para po sa pamilya ni Professor Mar at safety naman po para kay Katrina at Lucia Kite. Sila po ay uh, nasa traveling mode. Ha? Huh? Uh, ito naman po, isa rin sa mga intentions na pumasok sa atin pong messenger account, si Rolando Villanueva, na isyang ipanalangin natin ang... Uh, Good health at healing ng kanyang nanay na si Avelina Rasnas Villanueva. Si Reza Tamala naman, prayers for good health at gayon din po eternal repose naman para po sa kanyang Papa Domingo at Mama Irenea at ang kanyang lolo, lola, mga kamag-anakan at sabi po ni Reza, lahat ng mga kaluluwa sa purgatorio. Yan. 
si Narcisa Glore, nais naman po niyang ipanalangin po natin ang uh, kanyang anak dyan sa bataan kasama po ang kanyang mahal na asawa at uh, si Maria Socorro Puentes, healing prayer for Claro and uh, all the sick and old and the dying, sabi po niya. And eternal rest naman para po kay uh, Evangelina Hiliodoro at uh, sabi nga niya lahat po ng mga forgotten souls, yung mga wala nang nakaaalala. Ayan, no? And of course, special thanks po sa Gerucci Dental at Implant Center, si Dr. Rico Martin at Axel Gerucci, at ganyan din po si Dr. Azel Jade Tan. Ayan, uh, napaka matulungin po nila. And uh, thank you sa lahat po ng inyo service. Sila po ay uh, may dental clinic dyan po sa Jupiter, Makati. Yung mga nangangailangan po ng dental services ay eh, talagang full dental service po sila dyan. You can just look for them, Gerochi Dental and Implant Center. No? And uh, ngayong araw na ito, ang sabi nga natin, 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time, kapistahan po ng uh, kaarawan na TBT of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Sa kalendaryo po ng simbahan, tatlo lang yung kaarawan na yan na pinagdiriwang sa ordo, yung liturhiya po ng simbahan. Ang birthday ng Panginoong Jesus, of course, ang birthday ni San Juan Bautista, uh, March, no? at ang birthday ng mahal na ina. At ito po'y sapagkat itong mga kaarawang ito, meron pong malapit na kaugnayan sa kwento ng plano ng kaligtasan para po sa sangkatauhan. And um, as we pray, ito pong napaagandang piyesta pong ito ng Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Siyempre, binabati po natin ang ating mga kasambuhay dyan sa Borongan, uh, Samar, alam ko po, piyesta riyan ng Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And uh, yung ating mga readings, kung atin pong titignan, uh, para po sa akin ang dating doon eh, yung tinatawag natin na pagkakaroon ng plano ng Diyos. That God is not only a God of graces, but that God is a God with a grand plan for humanity. And uh, ito po'y napakagandang pagnilayan natin kasi tayong mga Pilipino kung minsan nasosobrahan natin yung expression po natin na bahala na si Batman. <laughs> Ibig sabihin, wala akong plano. O, tapos sabi na bahala na ang grasya ng Diyos. Tama po yun. Mahalaga po ang grasya ng Diyos pero hindi po ibig sabihin uh, hindi na tayo magpaplano. Bahagi po ng grasya ng Diyos ang plano ng Diyos. At makikita po natin yan sa atin pong mga pagbasa para po sa linggong ito. No? Halimbawa, sa atin pong first reading mula po sa Book of Wisdom, chapter 9, verse 13 to 18, sabi po dyan ng pagbasa, God's counsel ang kabuuan ng kaalaman ng Diyos is beyond human deliberations. At hindi natin talagang sukat maintindihan ang mga bagay-bagay ng kalangitan sapagkat tayo'y nasa lupa lamang. So therefore, alam niyo po yung plano ng Diyos ay talagang buo, matayog, at uh, it embraces everything. No? Uh, ito nga pong pagsilang ng mahal na inang Maria, kung tutuusin po natin, this is part of the counsel, part of the plan of God that was actually hidden by God, even from the devil. Aha, hindi po nalaman ng demonyo no? itong planong ito ng Diyos. No? 
tungkol kay Maria. And uh, because God is a great planner, ang ganda po ng responsorial psalm, sabi natin, In every age, O Lord, sa lahat ng sandali, sa lahat ng panahon, Panginoon, You are our refuge. Ikaw ang aming sandigan, Ikaw ang aming uh, uh, tanggulan. No? Now, sa second reading naman po natin, makikita natin kung paano yung grand plan ng Diyos works well even in a person like Paul and in a person like Onesimus. Sino ba si Onesimus? Sa second reading po natin, siya po ay isang runaway slave, isang naglayas na alipin at nagkita sa lian ni Pablo habang si Pablo ay nasa preso. Ha? At ano nangyari? Ha? Sa plano ng Diyos, wala pong bawas, walang awas, walang tapon. Lahat po nang nangyayari sa buhay natin, mayroon pong tinatawag na kahulugan, meaning, at kabuluhan, relevance. So halimbawa, dito kay Pablo at kay Onesimo, Nagkita sila sa preso. Ano nangyari? Si Onesimo na convert ni Pablo. At dahil po doon, mas naging kapaki-pakinabang ang plano netong runaway slave na ito. Yung panga pangalan po niya, Onesimus. Ang ibig po sabihin pala noon ay useful. Yan, useful. Maraming paggagamitan. Pero... Nung siya ay napasa ilalim ng plano ng Diyos, ayon po sa kasaysayan at tradisyon ng simbahan, itong si Onesimo, later on, will be made by Ignatius of Antioch as Bishop of the Early Church. O, kita nyo yan? Kaya, alam nyo po, ang plano ng Diyos ay talagang all-embracing. Ano? Now, sa Ebanghelyo naman po natin, kung atin pong idadigest, ipagpre-pray yung ating Ebanghelyo, palagay ko po dito pinapakita the plan of God and any godly plan, anumang planong nagbumula sa Diyos, palagi pong may dalawang mahalagang C. Una, cross. So, ang plano ng Diyos palaging dumadaan sa misteryo ng cross. No? Kaya nga sabi ng Panginoon, if you do not carry your cross, you cannot be my disciple. Pero pangalawa, at ito'y napakalakas po ang dating sa Ebanghelyo, maliban sa ang plano ng Diyos may cross, ang plano ng Diyos may completion. Ayan. No? Completion. Kabuuan pagtatapos climax no sabi nga ni Lord hindi tulad ng isang hari na magmamarcha sa gera hindi alam kung mananalo o hindi hindi tulad ng isang taong magtatayo ng tore na hindi alam kung matatapos niya kung kailan ang tore o hindi the plan of God definitely has a completion at kung titingnan po natin hindi po ba ang kwento ng inang Maria, ang kanyang buhay, ang kanyang pagsilang, ito po ay makakasama sa misteryo ng krus at sa misteryo ng pagtatapos ng plano ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ng pagdating ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. Kaya po, alam no? ah, purihin po natin ng Diyos sa kanyang mga plano sa atin. Narito na po ang atin pong banal na misa ngayon pong kaarawan ni Inang Maria 23rd Sunday of Ordinary Time mula po sa Oratory of Mary Queen of Apostles St. Paul's Makati.
OFW na nanonood sa atin. Isang magandang araw po at sa kanilang pamilyang na iwan dito sa ating bansa. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Jesus reminds us today that the gospel is not merely a preaching to be accepted, but a choice that must be lived in concrete situations. If we accept Christ into our lives, then He must be given priority over our other loves and commitments. Like our Blessed Mother, whose birthday we celebrate today, we must entrust ourselves to the Lord and trust in the wisdom of total fidelity to God's words. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Who can know God's counsel, or who can conceive what the Lord intends? For the deliberations of mortal are timid, and unsure are our plans. For the corruptible body burdens the soul, and the earthen shelter weights down the mind that has many concerns. And, scare, and scarce do we guess the things on earth and what is within our grasp, we find with difficulty. But when things are in heaven, who can search them out? Or who ever knew your counsel, except you had given wisdom and sent your Holy Spirit from on high, and thus were the paths of those on earth made straight. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In every age, O Lord, you have been a refuge. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. 
you make an end of them in their sleep. The next morning, they are like the changing grass, which at dawn springs up anew, but by evening wills and fades. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. And may the gracious care of the Lord our God be ours. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Philemon. I, Paul, an old man, and now also a prisoner for Christ Jesus, urge you on behalf of my child Onesimus, whose father I have become in my imprisonment, I am sending him, that is my own heart, back to you. I should have liked to retain him for myself, so that he might serve me on your behalf in my imprisonment for the gospel. But I did not want to do anything without your consent, so that the good you do might not be forced, but voluntary. Perhaps this is why he was away from you for a while, that you might have him back forever. No longer as a slave, but more than a slave, a brother, beloved especially to me, but even more so to you. As a man and in the Lord, so if you regard me as a partner, Welcome him as you would me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Great crowds were troubling with Jesus, and he turned and addressed them. If anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you wishing to construct a tower does not First sit down and calculate the cost to see if there is enough for its completion. Otherwise, after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers should laugh at, at him and say, This one began to build but did not have the resources to finish. Or what king marching into battle would not first sit down and decide whether with 10,000 troops he can successfully oppose another king advancing upon him with 20,000 troops. But if not, while he is still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In the same way, any one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In our Gospel today, we see a radical Jesus. A character of Jesus that at the onset is quite unacceptable. Who would tell you to hate your father or your mother or your children or family members? And worse, even to hate your own self. Para bagang napaka-contradictory naman ito. Nung aral na mahalin mo yung sarili mo at ang iyong kapwa. Ito ang sinasabi ni Jesus, to hate family members, to hate even yourself. A radical perspective because to become a disciple means you have to be radical as well. To be radical in the eyes of Jesus is not to be radical as the world sees it, 
but rather to be radical for Jesus means to trust in divine providence. Buo, buong loob na pagtitiwala sa Diyos. Kapatid, minsan ang hirap. E kung sa taong mahal mo nga, makita mo lang may kasamang iba, kahit sabi mo, titiwala ako dito, medyo mahirap. O oh, FW ka, malayo ka pa. I remember isang couple na kinasal ko din. Pag nakita niya may picture si girlfriend, nasa abroad din si girlfriend, na may kasamang iba, nagre-react na agad. Sino yung kasama mo? Bakit nakadikit sa iyo? Pag na, bakit nakaakbay sa iyo? Simula na nung awa yan. Sino yung kausap mo sa phone? Bakit ang tagal mo? Bakit kailangan mo pang lumayo? These are human experiences that we have. And so, when Jesus tells us to be radical, parang, teka, kaiba nga ito. But the radicality of Jesus is not about radical that you would take arms, that you would be aggressive, but rather to be aggressive in the sense that you have to let go of everything to trust in divine providence. Mahirap. Dinagdagan pa ni Jesus. If you want to become my disciple, you have to carry your cross and follow me. Sa isang uh, talk na binigay ko sa mga couples, no? biniro ko pa sila. O ayan, sa Ibanghelyo, sinabi, to carry your cross. Pwede nyo nang buhatin ngayon isa-isa yung inyong mga asawa. Uh, kasi minsan, yun yung unang pabihat. Family members. Uh, so, it, 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 itong hamon. Come to think of it, kapatid, as Brother Bo Sanchez would always say, if you love someone, and that love is not rooted in the love of God, walang forever. Why? Human love, in its very nature, is selfish. Human love, in its human nature, is always self-serving, narcissistic. Ang tanong lagi, eh ano ang para sa akin? Eh paano naman ako? Whereas, if your love for your neighbor or for someone dear to you is rooted in the love of God, whatever struggles you will encounter along the way, alam nyo meron kayong matibay na sinasandalan ang pagmamahal ng Diyos. Sa isang misa ko, patay, uh, parent ng isang OFW, tinanong ko yung tatay, he was in his uh, uh, 60s. He has been abroad for almost 30 years. Pero sabi niya, Father, not even once nag-away kami ng asawa ko. Not even once nagkaroon kami ng salusan ng asawa ko. Bakit? Sabi niya, at the onset, at the beginning, we make sure that we have to trust each other. Sabi niya, kami mag-boyfriend, mag-girlfriend pa. Huh? Ng college sila. Saan ang date namin lagi? Simbahan. Ilan ba sa dito pag nagde sa simbahan? Uh, sa bagay ako, binabalikan ko yung unang beses ako nagka-girlfriend many, 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 many years ago. Uh, yung unang date din namin sa simbahan. Yung unang peace be with you, holding hands. Uh, hindi man kami nagkaroon ng forever, hanggang ngayon, magkaibigang kami. Nakatawa, hanggang ngayon magkaibigan kami. And in many occasions, I've shared this love story, even to seminarians. Pag nag-aaway sila ng asawa, itetext ako ng, as- ng husband. Padre, yung girlfriend mo dito nagtataray. Itetext ko yung ex ko. O ba't inaaway mo yung asawa mo? Ang ganda na sagot, gusto mo kayo na magsama. Kayong mga lalaki, titigas na ulo nyo. <laughs> But along the way, we were able to develop that friendship. And I suppose that friendship is always rooted in the friendship of God. Kasi maraming pagkakataong nagkikita kami. Sa simbahan kami nagkikita kasi ako sa Kristan. Yung parents niya active din sa simbahan. O di pagsisimbahan kami nagkikita, safe. Uh, sa kabilang pew siya, dito ako, nagbubulungan. Those are beautiful memories of the past. And yet, until now, I still value the friendship that we have. Rooted in the friendship of God. Sa palagay ko, kapatid, sa marami sa atin, lalo na sa mga OFW, uh, hindi madali ang malayo sa pamilya. Hindi madali yung sa gabi, unan lang yung kayakap mo. 
Pero kapatid, tandaan mo, minsan katabi mo yung taong mahal mo, ang pakiramdam mo pa rin ang layo niya sa iyo. Bakit kaya? And I suppose because our love for one another is not rooted in the love of God. Paano ba man natin masasabing ang ating pagmamahal sa kapwa ay nakaugat tuon sa pagmamahal ng Diyos? Kapatid, when you begin to see, your point to dip, dip departure is not only the self or the I or the me, but it would always be the we or the you. Hindi na ako ang basihan, bagkus ang kabutihan ng iba. Kung kaya, ako saludo sa mga OFWs. O may iba ngayon, nasa conflict zones. Alam, in the Middle East. O yung mga bansa pang no, may persecution of religion. But they find ways to connect with the Lord. At we are so blessed in Sambuay TV Mass na naging bahagi tayo sa pagtugon nitong pangangailangan ng ugnayan sa Diyos. Uh, marami tayong mga televiewers sa Hong Kong uh, and we pray for them and uh, for their safety. For those in Plonfilic areas, we pray for them. At ang ating paanyaya rin, kapatid, tiwala lang. Tiwala lang sa Diyos. Uh, hawak lang sa Diyos. Hindi ko makalimutan yung isang word sa Ilonggo. Ako Ilonggo po, no? Elongated, from Iloilo. Uh, may nag-mention sa akin itong word. Uh, isang usudyante na naging kaklose ko din. Nung siya ay nag-aaral, uh, nag-prepare para sa kanyang thesis. Sa maraming beses, umiyak na siya. Sabi nga niya, bandang tagay tayong lugar. Sabi niya, malamig dito. Yung iba tulog na. Ako, umiiyak na kasi hindi ko patapos yung plates ko. As is an RK student or graduate na pala ng RK. Pero sabi niya, naalala niya yung word na binigay din ng isang ilonggong seminarista namin. Sarig. Sarig. Tiwala. At yung tiwala sa Diyos na kapag bigat na bigat ka na, hindi ka natatakot ilabas. Kahit hirap na hirap ka na, hindi ka natatakot ibahagi sa Diyos. Sabi nga, anumang mabigat ay gumagaan kung binibitawan lalo na kay Kristong ating kaibigan. Radical Jesus. Pati hindi lamang makikita namin natin dito, hindi lamang radical. Pero yung pagiging radical na Jesus na ang lahat dapat nakaugat sa Kanya ay may kaakibat na gawa. Take up your cross and follow me. Sa araw na ito, atin din pong ipinagdiriwang ang kaarawan ng ating mahal na ina. And imagine also the struggle of Mary. Huh? Could you imagine Mary at the foot of the cross seeing your son suffering? The anguish felt by a mother seeing her suffering son. Eh, makikita nga lang natin ngayon na pag may sakit yung anak, aligaga na yung mga nanay, aligaga na yung mga magulang. Pag sa probinsya, minsan napapangiti na lang ako. Bibisita ko, Father, si ganito, pinsan mo may sakit, pamangkin mo may sakit, o bibisitahin ko. Natutuwa ako. Hindi dahil sa may sakit, ano? Natutuwa ako sa itsura ng bata. Ang daming tawag din, sa isa ilonggo, itambal, ano? Mga dahon-dahon. May mga patahon dito, nakatali dito. Bawat, <laughs> sabi ko, anong ginagawa niyo? Kasi para sa isang ina, Father, dinala na namin sa ospital, walang nangyari. O ito, lalapit na lang kami sa albularyo kasi... Ganon din, ano? Para sa isang ina, she would take everything to make sure that the child is okay. Tayo rin naman, pag nagmamahal, gusto natin lahat magiging maayos. Huh? Pero ang tanong, ito ang sasabi ni Jesus, carry your cross, paano mo gagawin ito? Paano ba natin dinadala yung cross natin sa buhay? Tandaan mo, ulitin ko, ito'y gagaan lamang kung ating ibabahagi kay Jesus. Sa maraming pagkakataon, nais na nating sumuko. Sa maraming pagkakataon, we grumble. Sa maraming kat- pagkakataon, tayo nagre-reklamo. Pero kapatid, lahat ng ito, alam ng Diyos. Sapagkat ang Diyos ta- natin ay mahabagin, ang Diyos natin ay pamagmahal. Ito ang pinaniwalaan at pinanghawakan ng ating mahal na ina. Kaya sabi ng mga theologians, Before Mary conceived Jesus in her womb, she first conceived Jesus in her heart. Sa likod ng mga pagsubok na ating naranasan, lalo na sa ating mga kapatid na OFW, hawak lang po kay Jesus. Saring lang. Tiwala lang. Because at the end of the day, 
when we close our eyes, we would sleep comfortably knowing that we are in the loving embrace of God. At pag ating naramdaman at naranasan ang mapagpalang yakap ng pagmamahal ng Diyos, nawa atin din itong maibahagi sa ating kapwa. Lalo na sa ating mga kapatid na OFW, nang sa ganon, hindi lang unan ang kanilang ayakap. Pagpalaid tayo. Please rise. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We pray to the Father to grant us courage and perseverance so that we may become faithful followers of Jesus, not only in words but also in deeds. Let us ask Him, Lord of light and strength, hear our prayer. Lord of life and strength, hear our prayer. May the Church, the community of believers, be not ashamed of the cross of Jesus, which is the sublime expression of God's power, wisdom, and love. We pray. Lord of light and strength, hear our prayer. May our religious and political leaders be endowed with the wisdom to know what is truly good for the people and the courage and perseverance to bring their work to fruition. We pray. Lord of light and strength, hear our prayer. May those who have taken the challenge of promoting the gospel values, like Mary whose birthday we are celebrating today, be not discouraged when faced with adversity, antagonism, or outright persecution. We pray. Lord of light and strength, hear our prayer. May those who proudly profess the Catholic faith, but who engage in acts of corruption, violence, injustice, and sexual abuses, see the contradiction in their lives and ask the Lord for the grace to conversion. We pray. Lord of light and strength, hear our prayer. May we be freed from all earthly attachments which separate us from the Lord, and may we be able to develop the gifts He has given to us for the good of all. We pray. Lord of light and strength, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord of light and strength, hear our prayer. Father, we hear your call, but we fear our inconstancy and weakness. Teach us always to follow you with courage and hope through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may be do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks to the Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that the people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity may the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Lord, the fountain of holiness, make holy leader for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, I love you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Luis Antonio, our Bishop, all the religious missionaries and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially Marvin Nicola, Josefina, and Romeo. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, Peter and Paul, Blessed James Alberione, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the 
Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Muli, wag lang hong yumuko, yakapin yung katabi, iparamdam ang mapagpala at mapaghilom na presensya ni Jesus. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, peace be with you. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those who cannot receive communion, Join us in prayer. 
Jesus, Master, you assure me I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now, you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart, detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Prayer of Overseas Workers Saint Michael the Archangel, I am about to leave my family and the physical and emotional distance affect me. The physical distance means I will be living in a totally different culture where everything will be new. The emotional distance implies that no longer will I be able to embrace my loved ones when I want to. You have done special mission for God and you did it confidently, trusting that everything will be all right because our Creator has everything in His hands. Share with me the same faith. Make this travel a part of my mission here on earth. I have to leave for the good of my family and loved ones. I have to leave to do God's will. While I am away from them, protect them from dangers. Let them feel my presence through my letters and calls. Make us a strong family, even though we are far from one another. Saint Michael, through your intercession, may Jesus be the light of the family and Mary be our mother too. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that you may merit an eternal share in his life who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the God of all consolation order your days in his peace and grant you the gifts of his blessing. Amen. May he free you always from every distress and confirm your hearts in his love. Amen. So that on this life's journey, you may be effective in good works, rich in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and may happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace and love of Christ and be a blessing to your family and to one another. Thanks be to God. Tayo po'y uh, nagpapasalamat sa ating paring tagapagdiwang sa atin pong banal na minsa sa linggong ito at ngayon naman po pupunta tayo sa ating munting katikismo na kinukuha natin sa Laudato Si ang encyclical po ni Pope Francis tungkol sa ecology ang atin pong uh, pag-aaruga, pag-iingat, pagsasaayos ng mundo 
bilang ating tahanan, ating common home. Tama-tama po itong ginagawa nating ecology na ito, Laudato Si, sapagkat alam niyo po, itong buong buwan ng September, the whole month of September, hanggang sa first week of October, ito po ang season of creation. Natatandaan ko po, nung nakaraang linggo, ito'y binuksan ni Cardinal Tagle sa pamagitan ng isang misa dyan po sa Eco Park, dyan sa May Quezon City. So, Laudato Si. Uh, nandun tayo sa first part ng Laudato Si, yung pong pag-aanalisa uh, at uh, yung pong diskurso ng Santo Papang si Pope Francis tungkol sa ano ba ang mga kaganapan na sa atin pong tirahan ang mundo. And uh, marami na siyang tinalakay tungkol sa tubig, tungkol sa pulusyon, tungkol sa buhay ng mga tao. Ngayon, dito po sa paragraph 60, ito po yung pagtatapos na ng chapter 1, sabi po ni Pope Francis, hindi po tayo pwedeng maglagay ng iisang solusyon. Okay, remember that. Wala pong isang solusyon ang problema ng ecology, ang problema ng kalikasan. Kung hindi kanya, dapat mag-ugnay-ugnay, interdisciplinary, lahat po netong iba't ibang mga larangan ng siyensya, larangan ng sining, at pag-iisip ng tao. Pero, ganun pa man, sabi po ni Pope Francis sa paragraph 60, meron pong dalawang extremes. Yung bang suktulan na kanya dapat siguro ay iwasan natin. On one hand, kanya, nandun yung extreme na yung mga tao, yung ibang mga tao, naniniwala do sa tinatawag natin po na myth of progress ah, myth of progress na para po sa kanila there is really no problem in ecology kasi para po dito sa extreme na ito sabi nila habang nag advance ang teknolohiya then the ecological problem will be solved in itself habang nag advance ang teknolohiya yun po ang isang extreme Nasabi po ni Pope Francis, mukhang hindi naman yata realistic. No? Pero pangalawa, the other extreme naman, ay yung iba naman pong naniniwala na uh, lahat ng ginagawa ng tao ay hindi po threat oh, sa global ecosystem. Diba? Uh, in fact, ang mga uh, nasa extreme pong ito, sabi nila, Uh, dapat hindi makikialam ang tao kung hindi hayaan po natin na ang kalikasan ang mag-solve ng problema sa kanyang sarili. Wow, ha? <laughs> Medyo ibang klase din. No? Pero ang point po dito ni Pope Francis, dapat siguro kanya, between these two extremes, yung mga naniniwala that technology is the answer, and the other extreme, yung naniniwala na ecology, creation, uh, will solve the problem of the world in itself, eh, dapat ka ni Pope Francis, i-discuss natin ano yung mga viable option sa pagitan netong dalawang extremes na ito. The church, kanya, has no reason to offer a definitive opinion kung hindi, kanya, pag-usapan natin. Pero isang bagay kanya ang hindi natin pwedeng i-deny na ang nangyayari ngayon sa ating mundo is coming to a breaking point. Yan, ano? Breaking point. Dahil kanya napakabilis ng mga changes. Eh, marami dito sa mga changes na ito, maliban sa mabilis na pagbabago, they are also fast-paced degradation. Habang nagpapalit, nagkakaroon ng development ang mundo na lumalala din ang problema. Kaya nga, sabi po ni Pope Francis, dapat tayo yung magkapit kamay bilang citizens of creation, citizens of the world, at tignan po natin 
ano yung mga pwede po nating gagawin. No? Aminado po ang Pope Francis na sabi niya, kapag uh, nakipag-ugnayan ang relihiyon sa politika at sa pilosopiya, meron po yung mga nagsasabi na walang pakialam ang relihiyon sa mga usaping ito. Diyan na lang kayo sa simbahan. Ah? Lumuhod-luhod na lang kayo dyan at dumipadi pa. Meron din daw po sa paragraph 62, sabi ni Pope Francis, na mga taong naniniwala na ang relihiyon is best tolerated, po, pero wala talagang maiaambag sa isyong ito na purely technological at purely scientific. In fact, yan po ang isa sa mga kritisismo sa Laudato Si ni Pope Francis na uh, bakit na lang niya hindi iwan yan sa isyo ng science? Nakikisaw-saw pa siya. Pero ang point po ni Pope Francis dito ay uh, merong kaugnayan ang pananaw ng tao, ang moralidad, ang values ng tao sa isyu po ng kalikasan. At because of that, uh, itong pananaw na ito kailangang hubugin ng pananampalataya at ng relihiyon. Tutuloy po natin yan sa susunod na linggo. In the meantime, kayo po'y aming inaanyayahan na maging sambuhay poline cooperator. Unang-una po, you can be a sambuhay Pauline Cooperator sa pamagitan po ng inyong mga lab offerings para maituloy-tuloy po natin itong ating mga productions no? sa ating pong Sambuhay TV Apostolate at nasa screen po ang ating mga bank account numbers. Kung may problema po, paki-advise po kami para masabihan namin kayo what are the other options possible. Pangalawa, you can be a kasambuhay Pauline Cooperator by spreading about this apostolate. Kaya nasa screen po natin ang iba't ibang cable channels ng TV Maria at gayon din po ang mga digital channels na gamit naman po natin, digital platforms ng uh, Sambuhay TV. Ipalaganap po natin ito sa atin pong mga cyberspace na mga kaibigan, ano? yung mga netizens kung tawagin po natin. And you can also be a mission partner by uh, giving us a feedback and yung inyo pong mga mass intentions sa pamagitan po ng ating dedicated text number na nasa screen din po ngayon. And of course, maraming maraming salamat po dun sa mga regular na nagpapadala ng inyong mga tights, mga love offerings, etc. God bless you more. <laughs> God bless you more. At ngayon po, sa ngalan po ni Father Resti de la Peña, uh, lahat po ng bumubuo ng St. Paul Audiovisuals ay iniiwan po namin sa inyo ito pong panalangin ni Blessed James Alberione to spend the week well. My dear and sweet Mother Mary, Keep your holy hand upon me. Guard my mind, my heart, my senses, that I may never commit sin. Bless my thoughts, affections, words, and actions, that I may always please you, Jesus and Mary. Give me your most holy blessings. Amen.